That's my workout for the day. One of the things that we want to do while we're on our round the world trip is different kinds of classes, cooking or dancing or painting. In Aguas Calientes, Marco and I uh, did a private cooking lesson. But for budget reasons, we decided that just two people, Rodrigo and Marco, were going to do it. The bartender, Oscar, taught us everything that we needed to know about Pisco Sours, which is the national drink of Peru. Muy peruano. I learned how to make one, and it was perfect. El Pisco, para los peruanos, es la bebida nacional. Mm -hmm. Es como en Escocia o en Inglaterra el whisky, en México el tequila, mm -hmm. en Brasil la, la cachaza, la cachaza. La cachaza. Sí, exacto. Y en Francia el vino. El pisco por lo general tiene una fermentación, un tiempo de fermentación de 5 a 6 meses, en el cual se deja todo el proceso de fermentación hasta obtener el pisco puro. To make them have the consistency that they actually had, they put egg whites in it. ¿Cuántos pusimos ahora, Marco? Mm. Hielo, pisco, maple syrup, maple syrup. y ahora el zumo de limón. Sumo de limón. Sumo de limón. Igual la Puro. misma cantidad, sí, jugo de limón. No va a salir nada. No, un golpe fuerte. Y luego we put it in the cocktail shaker and shook it like crazy and it was great it was top notch como un batido un batido batido de alcohol pero no ah oh, divino Ahora tenemos a nuestro bartender Rodrigo que va a hacer un maracuyá sal. Todo hasta el final. Mmm. Bueno, bueno. Marco also got to make his own maracuyá sour, which didn't have an alcohol. Under beer, under beer. Although the technique was the same, um, I think he had a kick out of it. It was amazing. Mm. Yeah. It's como muy perfecto, eh? Then we went to the kitchen to learn how to actually make food. We actually got to uh, prepare two traditional Peruvian dishes. One was a causa rellena uh, with ceviche. And ceviche is the raw fish essentially prepared with lime, salt, and some spices. Marco, you are the first one, dude. First what? To take this class. First kid your age. I was the first 11 year old boy to ever do this cooking class. I'm not surprised. They were though. It was really good. We put like a bunch of lime juice in it, ahi, different spices, salt. So it's fresh, Marco. I probar, Marco. Mm. What do you think? Good? This is a great artist. Like an artist. Yes. Mm. Mm. It's good. Mm. It's good. 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 It's you like it? Mm -hmm. Do you know how to make it? Yeah. That tasted like salmon more than it tasted like trout, even though I don't know what trout tastes like. Hello, Marco. Tenta. Bon? Mmm. Mm, bon, eh? So the next dish that we made, and our final dish, I'm pretty sure, was um, kimoto with Apaca medallion wrapped in beef and it was really really good but then the quinoto was risotto but with quinoa and in Peru there's actually 26 different types of quinoa and we used three and I got to burn it with fire 
it you put like the oil on it and then Oh man, that was amazing. I mean, it was very nutty and um, really creamy, very rich. It was absolutely fine. You put it inside of this little um, like cookie cutter circle shape thing and then you just take it off and then it's voila! This tasty, amazing thing. So it was a super special moment. I feel like uh, if there had been a class with more people, I don't think it would have been as cool as it was. They made it special for us, Marco. They don't even have this in the menu. Yes, sir. What do you think? Yes. Yeah. I like taking cooking courses because just like, I like food. One of the chefs was just like, I'm gonna stop my work to take a few pictures. We made it safely. <laughs>